Greetings, my esteemed subscribing tons. Thank you all kindly for your well wishes on the birth of our second daughter. Now, I just thought to check in to give an update on everything and give some advice to fathers to be. Now, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to the midwives of BB Stockholm. In case you see this, very good and professional, I have said that the Swedish healthcare system isn't the best, but the midwives, they are an exception. So very good stuff indeed. I also want to give a shout out to my lovely wife, of course. She planned everything perfectly and executed the plan perfectly as well. Um, you can almost analyze the entire thing as an athletic competition of sorts, where you plan beforehand and then you go in execute the plan really nice to see and of course it's uh, yeah it was quite an emotional experience the birth itself so uh, great stuff everything went well uh, and uh, yeah I am very happy in that regard so all is well now anyway there are of course many guys who are more qualified to give advice on fatherhood and everything like that but I promised a few supporters that I would make this video so uh, so here we are now basically you can't really get ready uh, so if you ask how do you get ready for fatherhood you can't really get ready uh, you just have to wait with crossing that bridge when you when you reach it so to speak uh, so it's not so it's not something you can theorize all too much about you just have to view it as a learning experience, you learn something every day and then of course if it's uh, your second child or third child or so on it becomes easier but the first time don't worry too much about knowing everything beforehand because ultimately uh, you just have to learn by experience it's not something you can be ready for beforehand you get ready as you go uh, so keep that in mind so don't be stressed that you don't know this, you don't know that, how do you do this? Um, view it as starting a new job or something. Might sound a bit unromantic, but it's basically what it is. It's a new, very lovely, very rewarding uh, job you take on. Now also, leading up to the birth itself, perhaps you are a bit nervous, again, because you don't know uh, everything, that's completely fine. I would say that a good thing to reduce nervousness is to be, you know, stay active with whatever else you're doing. So for me, I've been very occupied with writing my second book um, and of course taking care of um, my wife. So I haven't really had the time to be nervous in that regard. Uh, which also leads me into my second main point, and that is taking care of your wife when she is pregnant and postpartum. Now, usually, you should of course put your own mission first and focus on that. And the mission usually includes, um, you know, taking care of your wife in, a, in the long term, so to provide and protect. Uh, but when it comes to the late stages of pregnancy and the early stages of postpartum, you you sort of have to, if possible, um, turn down the pace a bit on your own mission to care more for her. So this has been quite easy for me because my lovely wife, she's always so supportive of me, making sure that I can focus on my stuff or the greater goal at hand. So now it's been easy for me to simply return the favor to try to be as supportive of her as possible. Then of course motherhood, birth, everything like this, it's a, it's a female mystery. Uh, so there is only so much a man can do, you can only play a supporting role and the, yeah, the, main, uh, the main player of this drama is of course the woman, so um, there is only so much you can do. Then of course when it comes to fatherhood itself, and this is a video for another time, might make one um, you know your child is a reflection of yourself so if you want a calm child you need to be a calm parent you can't lose your temper it's okay if you do I think every father has at some stage lost his temper but 
when you recognize that as a, as a weakness in yourself, then you can sort of hammer away at that weakness to bring out the alchemical gold inside yourself to become a better person. So you can view fatherhood also as a, uh, as a challenge to become the best that you can be, to, you know, be calm and patient and everything like that. So an agitated parent is an agitated child, a calm parent, a calm child. So view it as a continuous learning experience and all will be well. So all that said for all fathers to be, best of luck and don't worry beforehand, don't worry about knowing everything. Things will, pieces will fall into place in the puzzle of, uh, of knowledge, of fatherly knowledge. And uh, yeah, just uh, view it as a learning experience one day at a time and try to be as supportive of your wife as possible because she really needs it uh, during the later stages of pregnancy and uh, especially postpartum because she needs to recover. So anyway, I will check in with you with a channel update in a, in a week or so and uh, when I'm done with my book I promise that I will give more attention and love to the video making. I have actually missed it quite a bit focusing on the videos so I have some plans in that regard. Stay tuned and thank you again for all of your well wishes. XXO BOOM!